According to Russian sources the Russian company Tula NPO, Splav, may have supplied a batch of Urigan, 1M bicaliber multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, to Russian troops stationed in Ukraine. But is there evidence to suggest that Russia is deploying this new MLRS in Ukraine? According to these Russian sources, the Russian military industrial complex has delivered an initial batch of the Urigan, 1M MLRS to Russian troops stationed in an unknown region of Ukraine. Mass production of these MLRS systems seems to have begun in Russia, with claims that they are designed to withstand Western and Ukrainian armed forces weaponry. Some Russian comparisons have been drawn between the Urigan 1M and the American-made M142 HIMARS system. However, there is uncertainty regarding this deployment, as Russian sources provide differing descriptions, mentioning either the Urigan 1M based on a Belarusian MZKT 7938 x 8-wheel chassis or a modernized version of the Soviet-era BM-27 Urigan equipped with more advanced electronics. Verification of this information remains challenging, as the only resources available couldn't be geolocated with precision. However, it wouldn't be the first time Russia introduced new military equipment discreetly, only to later confirm its testing or deployment in Ukraine. For instance, in August 2023, Ukrainians reported the destruction of the probable prototype of the pre-Delhi coastal radar, which was estimated to be worth at least $200 million. They also reported the elimination of the 1K-148E Yastreb AV radar upon its arrival in Ukraine. Another example is the T-14 Armada main battle tank, which is said to have been tested in real-life conditions in Ukraine, with possible mass production starting as early as 2024. Speaking of tanks, reports also suggest that the T-80 BVM model 2023 may have been sent to Ukraine. In the domain of self-propelled artillery, more and less secretive deployments have included the 2S-35 Koalitsia SV, the 2S-43 Malva, the 2S-40 Flox, and the TOS-2 Tasashka. The covert nature of this deployment could indicate two possibilities, it may involve the delivery of a small batch to assess the material's effectiveness, with the potential for mass production if successful, or it could be in the finalization phase. Finalization in military vehicle development includes rigorous testing, evaluation, and adjustments to ensure compliance with performance, durability, and reliability standards. This step is essential to ensure the vehicle's readiness for deployment across various operational scenarios. The Urigan 1M is a multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, developed by Russia with the aim of replacing the aging BM-27 Urigan 220mm and BM-30 Smirch 300mm systems. Its development commenced in 1995 and concluded with successful trials in 2015, however, as of 2023, it had not yet been officially adopted by the Russian army, with only six units produced. The Urigan 1M is designed for targeting area-based objectives, such as concentrations of troops, armored vehicles, artillery batteries, and airfields. Similar to the Vaz Rozdany, a new system that can serve as either an MLRS or a mine-laying system, the Urigan 1M is a multi-caliber system capable of launching rockets of various calibers, including 220mm and 300mm rockets. The launcher vehicle, known as the 9A53, can carry two pods with a total of 12 launching tubes for 300mm rockets or two pods with a total of 30 smaller 220mm rockets, providing significant firepower. The 300mm rockets have a maximum range of 70 km, or 90 km with extended range rockets, and come with various warhead options, including high explosive, incendiary, and cluster munitions. The 220mm rockets have a maximum range of up to 34 km and can be equipped with different warheads, including chemical and anti-tank munitions. Operating the Urigan 1M requires a crew of three, and it can be prepared for firing in just three minutes, enabling quick deployment and reducing vulnerability to counter-battery fire. It is mounted on a Belarusian MZKT 7938 x 8-wheel chassis with a turbocharged diesel engine, ensuring good mobility. An associated reloading vehicle, the 9T249, is used to transport and reload rocket pods, further enhancing operational efficiency. 
The Urigan 1M has the capability to fire the 220mm rockets used by the BM-27 Urigan, including high-explosive fragmentation, chemical, and scatterable mine submunition warheads, with a range of 35 to 40 kilometers. As a reminder, the BM-27 can also launch various unguided artillery rockets, including 9M27F, high-explosive, 9M27K1, anti-personnel anti-material bomblets, 9M27K2, anti-tank mines, 9M27K3, anti-personnel minelets, and 9M59, anti-tank mines with directional charge. The key distinction between the Urigan 1M MLRS and previous Russian multiple launch rocket systems is the use of packaged guides instead of the traditional ones installed on a combat vehicle during production. These packaged guides enable quicker reloading after firing a salvo, as the missiles are loaded in packages rather than individually, thereby increasing efficiency and safety. Previous MLRS systems were vulnerable due to the time-consuming reloading process, making them susceptible to adversaries. It's important to note that the Urigan 1M's ability to fire projectiles of different calibers reduces the need for separate ammunition deliveries, simplifying logistics and offering flexibility in terms of ammunition types. Therefore, the Urigan 1M can utilize old Soviet-era stocks or more modern ammunition, depending on the situation. Lastly, the Urigan 1M features automated fire guidance and control systems. Modern electronics enable the Urigan 1M to operate efficiently by receiving real-time target information and fire adjustments from drones.